and welcome back to Knots by Lainey. I'm Lainey and today we're going to be making an ottoman. Now if you've seen my video on how to hand crochet a cat bed, we're pretty much doing that except we're building it all the way up and then closing it back up. I'm going to be using big twist tubular, tubular, tubular? tubular yarn. It is jumbo size yarn. It recommends either a 15 millimeter hook or needle. We will be using our hands. Um, it is 100% polyester. That means the tube itself is polyester and so is the filling inside of the tube. Um, let's see what else. This is in the color wine. It is a super soft material. One Miko's playing with is a better example. So it has the polyester filling inside of it, right here. And when you go to attach the two balls together, we'll defluff just a tiny bit of the filling and tie a knot between the two balls to get them to stick together. You want to play with it. Okay, here you go. Don't destroy it, but you can play with it. Here is the cat bed I made. I will link that video down below in case you want to go check it out. But this was a, I think, 20 inch long, my cats have made it filthy, a 20 inch wide bed, which would mean, <clears throat> this needs to be shoved in just a little tight, but I think that's perfect to make it a little tighter. Maybe I'll do one more round of increases, but because this is only two things, I bought four, we might need five. Hopefully we don't because it will no longer be the same die lot if I need another ball. Hopefully my mom won't notice. Oh yeah, this is a Christmas present for my mom. So let's just see what we can get started now, shall we? All right, welcome to my floor. Miko might attack the tripod. So if you start shaking, she's playing with you guys. I don't believe I was in frame for that last clip. Sorry. So first what I'm gonna do to knot this off at the end so it doesn't unfurl. So I'm gonna peel back, I don't know, about an inch, inch and a half of fabric and just cut the polyfill or whatever this is, it's not polyfill, off and set that to the side so my cat can't eat it. Then I'm going to just unfold it and then um, tie this little section in a knot. One second, I didn't cut out enough. I would say cut out about two inches instead of one, just so you have the wiggle room to tie it. There we go, much better. And then I just slowly slide the knot up until it's just over where we cut. And then you have this little tail that's much easier to hide in your project. Let's do, okay, so you can do a chain three loop them together like I did in my first video, but I'm going to try and do a magic circle. So you're gonna keep the end at the bottom of your hand. You're gonna wrap it around, cross over the back, and go over. Now take your fingers and pull that second loop under the first one. Now grab your tail and pull that through. That's your chain one. 
this is your first chain. Keep a hold of this knot so we don't lose it. And then you're going to put your fingers in through the hole we just made, pull up our working yarn, take our yarn, our working yarn, and pull it through those two loops to make your first single crochet. We're gonna do this three times. One, two, Miko, I'm, can you play with a different ball? Here, you play with this ball. Three. Okay, now flatten that out. And now we have three single crochet. I think I'm gonna do four. So let's chain one more. And then here it is. Now you see your little string that we made sure not to let go of when we made our loop. We're gonna just pull that tight to tighten up our magic circle. So now we have four single crochets and our tail is at the back. Now we're gonna work in the round. So we're not going to chain these together or slip stitch these together. Hey, Miko, my love, my love. You crazy kitten. I know you love yarn. All right, so we're going to just single crochet into the first single crochet we made instead of slip stitching them together, chaining one and then crocheting. So we're gonna keep our fingers in the loop we have. We're gonna go under that first crochet, pull up our working yarn like so. So now we have two loops on our finger. We're going to take our thumb and forefinger and okay. We're going to pull through to make a new single crochet. Now this row we're going to increase in each stitch. So we had four. By the end of it we should have eight single crochets. So there's one, one increase. Here's our third single crochet. You need your nails cut, ma'am. And here's our fourth single crochet. And as you're working with it, you're gonna wanna keep pulling your stitches out towards the center because they will curl inwards, but when you pull them out, they stay where you pull them. So now we have four. If you lose track of where you are, you can always take spare yarn and put it in your first stitch or your last stitch of your round to keep track of where you're at. I'm gonna probably do that after this round because I'll get lost. All right, so there's our fifth single crochet. Six. Seven. And. I'm going to go get a string to put into my last stitch so I can mark where I'm at. So now that we have our first round of increases, I'm going to slide this green string under my last stitch here and just go like this to mark it as my last stitch of the row. Now we're going to start alternating our increases. So I'm going to do a single crochet in this one, two in this one, one, two, one, two, one, two, yes. And that should give us, what, 12 single crochet. So I'm gonna show you 
real quick and then we're gonna I'll explain what we're doing and then we'll pick up speed so one single crochet put your fingers under the loop pull it up and we're increasing in this stitch so we're gonna do two single crochet Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then two in the next and so on until we're at the end of the row. I will say be careful about how tight you're working your stitches. If you work them too tight, it's really, really hard to get that increase put in there. Okay, now I'm gonna remove my string. Do my first single crochet in the last stitch. Then in my last crochet, my last single crochet of this round, I'm going to be putting in that string to mark it. Let me redo that one, even though it's not the greatest. There we go. And we're gonna slide this in here like so. Make a little tie so it doesn't slip out. And this is what we should have so far. Now this is, this is now about mm, nine and a half, almost 10 inches. Um, let's do this two more times and we'll meet back up. Each time we do another round, we're gonna increase like normal. So this would be one, one, two, one, one, two. And then the next round will be one, 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 two, and so forth. You're increasing as if it's a normal circle, uh, crochet circle that you're building up. I'm going to slide the camera back, put you in fast forward mode until we get to the diameter of the ottoman. one more row of increases but I am at the end of my first ball I will say the only thing I dislike about this yarn is how small the yardage is you only get 40.4 yards so basically you get 40 yards because you have to tie them together so we're gonna do the same thing we did to start we're gonna pull this down about two inches we're gonna cut off the yarn or the fuzz right here. We're going to pull this up so it's just an empty tube of fabric and then we're gonna open our next ball. We're gonna find the end to this ball gonna pull it down and do the same thing pull it up like so and now we're going to just tie a knot between 
these two yarns. Make sure you pull it really tight. Just like that, and it should hide itself while we, when we make it, like when we go over the, this part. It should be skinny enough that it's not noticeable. So I'm on my last increase of this row, and then I'm going to do one more row, and I'll check back in with you guys. All right, we are at 20 inches wide. Let me put her on top to make sure she fit. That's going to be perfect. Okay, so I've had some lunch. I've undone the entire thing up into my seven increase my seventh row of increases or fifth row of increases. Sorry. Um, I'm going to do a extra row of increases to fit around this thing um, since I made it slightly too small. My advice would be to make it an inch or two bigger than it actually needs to be because this is exactly 20 inches and it was too small after I built up the walls. So I'm gonna build it an extra inch out or an extra row out, which will give us an extra inch and a half to two inches. Um, so we're just gonna do another round of increases and then redo what we just did. I did just order three more balls of this um, off of Joanne's website. Here's our circle. It's ginormous. But this should be big enough now. There, that should be big enough. Finally. Back loop only single crochet and then we're gonna single crochet in the round until we run out of yarn. And then I'll probably have to finish this on a different day because I definitely do not have enough yarn for this whole thing. And I probably ordered more than I need. So if there's any projects that you guys have been really wanting to try with this type of yarn, but you just don't know how to do it, let me know and I will give it a shot. I am going to flip this upside down and crochet this way just so that way I can build it upwards. It's easier to work with and then we'll just remember that this is the inside top. This is the, the top of it. four balls that I have already purchased worked up and it it's pretty close to being enough I'm gonna need one and a half more balls though because we have to finish this row and then basically all we have to do from there is do a front loop or no sorry scratch that we have to do a back loop so finish this and then do a back loop single crochet again and then we're gonna start closing it up. And to close it up, we're gonna put the insert in and then close it up around the insert. Um, and it's going to be a permanent insert just for ease purposes. All right, so it's been a few weeks. Finally got my extra yard. As you can see, I've inserted the poof 
into what we've made so far. Now it's just time to do our decreases and stitch her up. are crocheting with the poof in the bean bag now because when we do the decreases we're going to be closing it around the poof. The die lot isn't too noticeably different so that's good news. It's not two completely different colors. <laughs> the seven rows of single crochet going up. Now I'm gonna bring you guys in a more top-down view so that way you can see how I'm gonna decrease. So now we're gonna do our decreases and we're gonna do them just like we did the top row which means we're going to work in the back loop only so that way we have the nice band. So what we're gonna do is decrease in these two stitches and then do six single crochet and then decrease all the way around the, for this row. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go in the back loop, pull up a loop like normal, but then we're going to do it again to the next loop. So pull up a loop on that second stitch. Now you have three loops on your hand. Now we're going to pull our working yarn through all three of these loops, just like so. And then you're going to do a normal back loop, single crochet in the next six stitches. All right, that was six single crochets. So now we're going to decrease again. So pull up that first loop, hold on to it, and then pull up a third loop through the next stitch, and then pull your yarn through. And work these, that was a little too tight. So work these ones a little looser so there's not as much gapping in between them. There we go. And then six more single crochets. Now that that round of decreases in the back loop only is done, we're going to single crochet like normal. To start closing the footstool. And then after two or three stitches, you're going to make your next decrease. We're randomly putting in the decreases from each other so that way um, it's not an obvious line going down. But when we do these decreases, we're going to decrease in the front loop only to make the decrease less bulky. Our normal single crochets are going to be normal. Um, our single crochets are going to be normal. It's just the decreases we're doing in front loop only. And then you're going to single crochet your next five stitches. And we're gonna do our next decrease. Again, decreases in front loop only and work them loosely so that way there's no big gapping. And then single crochet like normal. And 
this is what it should be looking like so far with your decreases. Um, I will start the next round with my decreases, do four single crochet, and alternate just back and forth, back and forth of how I'm working my decreases so that way none of them are stacked on top of each other. last remaining 12 stitches we're going to sew it up right, and now we are going to finish it off by making a chain and then because I don't know how much I'm gonna need to stitch it up I'm just gonna pull the rest of the yarn ball through I'm gonna pull that tight to finish that off now what we're gonna do is just sew this up now i have a really long tail and i'm gonna be extra and i'm gonna sew with the whole tail you can cut yours but i'm just going to make it easy well hard on myself and use the whole thing to save myself some yarn <laughs> Now, you would just cut off your tail open her up a little bit cut out the fluff again tie up a knot just so that stuffing doesn't come out that tail and then just weave in your tail end to some stitches to hide it and there you have it an ottoman so here's the side we just did with our decreases. It's a little more textured. And here is the side we started on. Much flatter. So you let me know what do you think looks best. All right, well, that's it for this week's video. Overall, this took five and a half balls of yarn to make plus the insert so i can put up on the screen how much this project actually cost me here but it is not like a money saving project however i absolutely love the look of it and it's a present for my mom and i think she's gonna love it let me know which side would you display as the bottom or the top. Everything will be linked down below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And I will see you guys next year. Bye!